I know I'm just sitting here. First of all, my name is Savannah. Welcome back to my channel. I changed the changed the name again. Change the name again. Please do not judge me. Every time I think that I forget. First of all, I feel like the having the my name as the channel kind of did not really help the audience understand what my page is about so I feel like the single mom chronicles is like so much better because I'm literally talking all things about being a single parent and also trying to change like my mindset around a lot of things and I'm trying to give myself the courage to do as much as I can without having to depend on the system um and I say that wait time out my name is Savannah yeah my name is Savannah <laughs> and I changed the name to single mom chronicle so this is all about being a single mom and um working on like my finances or you know trying to, trying to help other moms um like learn some things that I've learned so far throughout my three years of being a parent one thing I can say for sure is that it is like being caught between a rock and a hard place or is that that's the impression that um that's the impression that we're given um especially when we need help from the system or not we we don't necessarily need help i feel like that is a limiting belief and i always talk about limiting beliefs because you know how all of those things are income based and i feel like it just keeps you really small and i i mean obviously again if you've seen any of my previous videos you will understand or you will see that I'm going through a, a challenging financial situation, but I'm still not, I mean, by the grace of God, I'm still afloat with what I have. I don't get food stamps. I don't get, um, I don't get food stamps. I don't get cash assistance. I don't know if I'm telling too much, but I feel like because you might need that, you know, you literally have to be at zero to even get cash. So it's like, just keep your two hundred dollars, and I'll just figure out how to make two hundred dollars on my own, or whatever the case is. But um, I just got off the phone with, um, I just got off the phone with like a case manager, and she's just like trying to egg me on to like get a job, like trying to help me to get a job get a job get a job i'm like yeah i'm trying i literally applied to over two thousand jobs at this point between indeed and linkedin and i'm like it was very competitive like i'm not the only one that's going through this a lot of people are going through this like i've worked in finance for a long time i worked for the city for a long time and i'm trying to explain to her like this this is like out of my control like until I get my money flowing back to a certain, um, you know, a certain revenue, there's nothing I can do about my circumstance, but what I'm doing, like the energy that I'm putting into what, um, the things I'm doing or I'm trying to create or whatever the case is. So, you know, for my daughter's sake, obviously, I need, I feel like I want to take care of her. And I know some people call that like a trauma bond, a, not a trauma bond, like a trauma thing. Like, oh, you don't, you're not asking for help or you don't need no help. No, it's not about I don't need no help. It's just, you just have to, you just have to have your third eye open. Uh, that's what I call it, the, the third eye. Because even with like complexes and stuff, right? So this is so sidebar. Let me see. This is so sidebar. But this is just to, to give you guys, like, a different perspective. And that's why, you know, especially being a, a mom or a single parent, you shouldn't play small. Um, even if you feel like, 
you're at a low moment because me personally like i said if you've seen my previous videos you will see how i beat myself up beat myself up for even getting in the position that i'm in and i'm extremely grateful to a certain experience rewind i'm extremely grateful that we have a roof over our head but i want a house okay i want an apartment i want a house i found a car that i want that's perfect for my daughter and I like that's you know there's things that I want for us there's like a standard that I have for us and I it's not to say I don't need help or I don't want help but to have to play this small to get those things it just doesn't really sit well in my spirit like I just feel like it just don't sit well in my spirit I just don't like it so um you know I've been um I told I told the case manager like I felt like I was out of alignment. I was like there's no way um I'm in alignment and I know I'm out of alignment because when I got to that point where I was able to get, you know, I got my house, my my crib and, and I got my car and I had my daughter and then I went backwards. So I took a step backwards. And then I took another step backwards. And then I was just like, "Oh my god. Wait a minute." Sometimes you have to be like so aware of like your um your actions and I am you know I accept full responsibility for my actions and I'm not mad at my actions but um it just also literally is just lighting a fire under my ass so that I can do what I need to do and now I could you know I have the opportunity to redesign my the goals that I have for myself in the future that I have for myself and what I want for me and my daughter that's the probably the most beneficial I could see out of it and so far it has not even been easy because being in this state without a car is not it, it, I'm not going to say it's not easy because the train and the bus is, is running you know what I'm saying but a 10 minute trip in a car can turn into an hour trip by public transportation especially if you're taking a bus because they don't have express so um, not saying that it's a con but I literally have to grind and work and I'm not I'm not talking about hustle culture and all of that. Like I'm not with none of that. I'm not with none of that. But um I'm literally having to put a lot of time and energy into going places alone because the commute, you know, is it's it's a little it's it's there. But um yeah it takes a lot of like willpower i feel to be able to see the glass half empty and half full you know like seeing it half full like i could i definitely feel the 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 challenges of being uh, a single parent and having one child now shout out to those that have two and three kids and they doing it by themselves and it's not even like it's impossible that's the thing it's not it's not impossible it's a limiting belief and sometimes you gotta you gotta flip that limiting belief in your head um and and tell yourself that you can do it like i don't necessarily need your food stamps i don't necessarily need your voucher like yes it helps a lot but i literally have to be on bending knees and broke for you to give me a voucher, for you to give me food stamps, for you to give me cash assistance, and that sometimes they don't even want to approve that shit. So we gotta know how to stand on your own two feet. Sometimes, like there's nothing wrong with that at all. I just feel like as a parent, they just make you feel like it's impossible, like you can't do it, like sometimes as a parent you don't have an option to just be like i'm gonna just drop my kid and just disappear like who did i just say that Ooh. as a mom and i'm only talking about me personally i'm not talking about nobody you know shame no teeth nobody none of that but as a mother i just feel like i couldn't do that to my to my daughter um i couldn't do that to my daughter like i'd rather dug it out and grind with her you know what i'm saying so she could at least see like my mother was there um and like we did it together you understand what i'm saying 
So I'm not going to feel defeated. Like, I know my capabilities. I know what I can do. Um, I know what I've done before. And I know what I can do going forward. You understand? It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, oh, but I was mentioning, like, even with the apartment. So I went to an apartment um, to view an apartment. And it was so beautiful. Oh, my God. It was so even the freaking the stove I walked into the apartment and the stove had my birthday on the stove like randomly and it was like 1 o'clock in the afternoon and my birthday was on the stove and I was like oh my god I'm moving into this apartment I'm moving into this complex into this apartment maybe not that specific apartment but I'm moving into that complex into the apartment style that I saw I, I was in love with the whole community but I'm trying to tell you the way these communities have it set up is really how you look at it because you know a lot of them provide for you a lot of them provide a gym a lot of them provide a pool a lot of them provide all of these like new gadgets and things for like mail and having to use this to accept that and we provide a kitchen if you want to have a party you can have a party here and you can give me a check for seven hundred dollars but I'm already paying you rent and I'm going to give you a $700 check to throw a party as a deposit and then pay you hourly for the... and I'm not going to say that's um, a lack mindset it's not a lack mindset but again it's just like the it's just again it's just how you look at it it's how you look at it and I feel like that's with everything it's like, do not let these systems... That's why I feel like it's the best The best thing to do is get a house. I feel like the best thing to do is get a house. Like, get your own ish. Do not fall trapped to none of these things, you know? Because you're like, oh my God, $1,300 for a studio? But then when you look at all of the other things that you get, you're really not... It's really worth obviously every single penny that you're spending but you don't people you know some people just not going to look at it that way you're going to be like oh my god it's so much but it's really not I don't have to leave my complex I can go to the gym that's very codependent honestly but you know it just that's just <laughs> I guess it's like give and take at this point with everything with everything with everything it's either like oh my god I'm going to pay $2,000 for a two bedroom and thinking like, oh my God, um, I'm only making this amount of money. How am I going to afford it? When it's really not like that, you pay $2,000, but you get all of these things for $2,000. So, yeah, that was with that complex that I saw yesterday. And I actually made a short. Um, the last short that I posted was actually of, the, of a two-bedroom floor plan that I saw, but, yeah, um, I just want to say, like, shout out to all the moms that's really holding it down, um, like, on their own, like, you literally hold down the house by yourself without the support of any outside entity, I can't even, I don't even want to beat myself up for that and be, like, put myself down, like, I'm not putting myself down, um, because I need the help right now. So uh, it's just not like you're not supposed to ask for help or anything like that. But I'm so like extremely independent. Like this literally hurts my brain. I'm so independent that leaning on someone is like literally a issue for me. Like leaning on someone is an issue for me because of, of trust. And I actually made a video about trust, like how I really do not trust people and, and situations and things like that, that that have power over me. Uh, I made a video about that too. Um, so, yeah, you know, having like a half full, um, having like a half full mentality is so helpful than seeing the cup half empty yeah like seeing it half full is very helpful but it's like that scarcity mindset like 
I don't have enough. Yeah, you do. You think you don't, but you probably do. You just have to look at it from a different perspective. And I feel like I'm all about different perspectives. I don't know what it is, but I even write about that a lot. Like a lot of the things that I write about, a lot of it is about different perspectives. Like seeing shit from both sides. Because I have to tell a case manager, like, you know, my daughter got admitted into a really good charter school um, for free. Like, I don't have to pay for the school. She gets to go for free. But it's just like, it's all income based, you know? So it's just like, damn, how low do I got to be for her to get the best? Or that's the impression that's given. It's so crazy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the world is so crazy that's why everybody needs to get get to the bag seriously because (laughs) it is so crazy when you just start thinking of all of the whole just the whole the way that the world is ran it is almost everything is give and take give and take give and take so it's either i have to live in poverty for my child to have a really good education that's the give and take or I have to really hustle and grind until I get to a certain statue, stature, statue, whatever. So I don't have to rely on none of that. And I can do it on my own. And I can take care of her financially by myself. And that is like my goal is to take care of her on my own, financially by myself. Regardless to what anybody, how anybody feels. It's the limiting beliefs that will really keep everyone stuck. Like, the limiting beliefs will really keep everyone stuck. Like, I could still put her in a really good school. I could still put her in a really good school. Is it going to be cheap? Probably not. Is it going to be easy? Probably not. Probably not. But that's, I guess that's just the part of being a mom, a parent. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely eye-opening, um, when it's just like, go get a job, okay, I'm gonna go make 70, 80k, but then her daycare is a thousand dollars, it's crazy, it's crazy, so where do I live, (laughs) so where do I live, it's insane, it's insane, it's like, go go find something that's a thousand dollars a month, where show me show me where it's at thousand dollars a month because the apartment i went to see was thirteen hundred dollars for a studio so show me where it's at for a thousand dollars a month show me the job where i can make two thousand dollars or about six thousand dollars a month and yeah like six seven yeah like six seven thousand dollars a month or not even show me the job but just show me Six to seven thousand dollars a month, and I get to pay for her school on my own. I get to feed us on my own. I mean, I do that. I should not right now, but that's what I was doing. I was buying our groceries with my own money. I wasn't. I don't have food stamps. I don't have Medicaid and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, all of that stuff really keeps you small. Just you just have to look at it how the system is benefiting you and how, how it's not benefiting you. Yeah. Don't let your limited beliefs make you feel like you can't do something you want to do because of any system. I'm trying to tell you. This is called the game of life. For real. And I have so many other subjects that I really I, I am going to talk about. Um, I swear I went outside and I had this this big download of all of these subjects. And I'm just like, yes, I'm going to talk about all these things. Especially as a parent and as a single parent. Because it's like, if we're uneducated, we just have no idea. You know, everything is a sacrifice. And it's just like, what side of the spectrum do you want to be on? What side of the spectrum do you want to be on at the end of the day? But that's all I have to say. It really turned into talk about limited beliefs. But, you know, I am not going to stop. I'm not going to (laughs) stop. But I'm going to do 
and just talk about a lot of subjects that I think really affect us as single parents. And do I feel like I am the advocate for single moms? <laughs> no, I don't think I'm an advocate for single moms, but I could probably, we probably could all relate to each other. We can probably all relate to each other um, when it comes to, when it comes to that, you know, like, especially with like investing, you know, like with investing and, and savings and things like that, like wanting to get into real estate and things like that, like, why not? Why are we not talking about that? All the programs and stuff like that for us to buy houses. Like, let's talk about that, you know? Why? Wow. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one because my battery is about to die. So, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Again, my name is Savannah. I don't think I'm going to change my page name again after today. I think today was the last was the last time I'm going to change it because I really want everybody to... I want to really build up my community and I want y'all to know that I'm here. Like, I see y'all because I feel unseen half the goddamn time. Maybe it's because I'm in my room with the door closed. But sometimes I feel unseen and I just wanted to shed light on the beliefs that we have as parents and not believing that we can do the things we want to do because some system got us trapped i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one make sure y'all subscribe and like this video and comment if any of what i'm saying makes sense because some of some of the shit sometimes be all over the damn place but yeah just let me know what your thoughts are and um i appreciate you for watching and i will see you in the next one